Hello and welcome to the Hoof GP. Today we're looking at a cow that's got a tooth grown out the bottom of her foot. We're comparing new discs and we're receiving a really important phone call. Guys, this is the Hoof GP. Smash that subscribe button right now. I got this delivery the other day and it's probably the most excited I've ever been to open any parcel because look, can you guys see exactly what that says there? The Hoof GP. This is made by Trimmer's Pal and clearly knew exactly what I want because he has produced a disc almost to my exact specifications. So I am desperately wanting to get this all geared up, get the blades in place and get to the farm. So let's do it as quick as we can. Today we're looking at these two bad boys, the Herdsman disc and the professional disc from Trimmer's Pal. And I can't wait to see how these bad boys compare. But I guess that's over now We've been playing here since 4 a.m. And you haven't said a word to me So here goes nothing. First go with the new blade. Using a new blade on a live cow for the first time is always nerve-wracking and this time is definitely no different. You need to make sure that the cow's foot is extremely well fastened and unable to move in any way. Exactly how I was hoping. Say those words go and just shout it out. Just be honest, be a man right now. Say it's over. If it's over. If it's over, just say it out loud. Say those words go and just shout it out. Well, first impressions literally couldn't be any better. I'm really impressed. It'll be good to see. Obviously, it's brand new blades that are in there, so it is slightly more aggressive because obviously I don't change all of my blades in one go. So it's gonna be really, really good to see how I get on with the rest of the day. So I've actually already used the hair from our farmer's disc, and it is really, really good. But now I wanna show you guys exactly what it can do. I wanna close my eyes and go back Play it in my mind A movie of us two, yeah We were happy at the time Can't remember what it felt like We used to be so strong That picture perfect sky now It looks so great and cold We've been playing here since 4 a.m. And you haven't said a word to me Just like a glove, but I 
So I've trimmed nearly 40 cows now and the edge is starting to wear off the blades which is exactly what I expected to happen. And now's the time where the wheel will really get tested because most wheels cut fantastically well when the blades are really really sharp but they start to lose some of their key capabilities when they dull a little bit. So let's crack on, trim this front foot and see how she's coping now. As you can see, the disc is still really, really capable. But as you can also see, this foot's got a problem. This Bovi Bond glue used to be an absolute nightmare. It was always one of the best glues, but the cartridge kept snapping in two and bursting open and stuff. So to say I'm glad that they fixed the cartridge would be an understatement. So why am I saying that one disc is a herdsman disc? and one is a professional hoof trimmer's disc. What's the difference? Well, the edge. Everything is pretty much identical, apart from the edge. You see, this one is rounded, and this one has a chamfer on it. So in other words, the herdsman disc is far less aggressive on the edge, and the professional one you could model away with. But it's far, far easier to have an accident with this. So I'm actually on day number two using the new disc, and I thought I better get the new disc out, and the camera to video some feet to show you how we're doing after about 60 or 70 cows. And actually I've just found something when I cleaned off his foot that's more than a little interesting. Look at that. I'm not a million percent certain, but I am fairly sure that that is a tooth stuck in her foot. So let's go ahead and get it out. That seriously can't have been comfortable, can it? And now that we've got this tooth out of the foot, we're gonna to need to see if there's any problems lurking underneath that hoof. So you can see the cavity here where the tooth was. We need to take all of this back and this because it's too long anyway, and make sure there's no problems hidden in here. Believe it or not, finding teeth in cow's feet is actually a really good sign. That's because cows don't generally lose their teeth until they're much older. So if you find teeth in a cow's foot on a farm, you know that the cows are sticking around longer than they usually would on most farms. As you can see, there's actually no damage whatsoever to this foot. And actually, it's a really nicely shaped foot. Happy days! 
Hello. <laughs> FaceTime, he has nothing. You'd think he'd be able to get an iPhone. Can't, can't afford uh, that. How are you doing? Busy, busy, busy. We've got 80 cows. Oh, oh, yeah. I think there's still a little bit of loose horn there. If you can get your fingernail behind it, then that means it needs to come away. Be careful you don't go too much further. Digital dermatitis to heal properly. That makes sense? Right. Well, but you should probably wrap it so that it soaks. Put a block on, wrap it up. Perfect. And then send me a photo. <laughs> no problem. Catch you later, man. Bye. <sighs> the things you have to do. Try to go on with my daily work and Tom Pemberton's phoning me for advice. Come on, Tom. Get a grip. I'm only joking. I love giving people advice. So, to surmise, in summary, in conclusion, I am really, really impressed with these two discs. The herdsman ones, the one for the non-professionals, for the farmers or for the dairymen, is fantastic. It's exactly what you would want in a herdsman's disc. It's aggressive enough to take off a good amount of material, but at the same time, you're not gonna cut right into the animal because of the way those blades are placed. It's really, really good. And actually, the blades have held up really, really well. I've trimmed just over 100 cows with them and they're still really sharp. They're not 100% sharp like when I started, but that's the same with pretty much every blade you buy. I'll put a link in the description where you can buy these discs. Um, and to be honest, I'm not exactly sure what they retail for. I'm not exactly sure right now as I speak where you can get them from, but I will put that link in the description. The professional disc is good as well. It's not exactly what I want in a disc. I want it to be more aggressive on the edge and be able to really model with it and cut lines with it if I want to. So guys, watch this space. That disc, if you like a slightly less aggressive disc, is fantastic for a professional. But for me personally, I want something slightly more aggressive. So I'm gonna to speak to Ronan and see if he can maybe produce one like that for me with a slightly smaller diameter. I hope you've enjoyed this video. It's maybe been a little bit more boring for the non hoof trimmers among us, but I really do appreciate you watching and supporting the channel. For me, the Hoof GP, it's goodbye. Cheers guys, catch you next time.